right, welcome to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this being the Tuesday edition of me being your host, Gino T. Hope you had a great, tremendous St. Patrick's Day weekend, and if you're just thinking today might be Monday, it's Tuesday, just to let you know. Put some clothes on, get out from underneath the kitchen table, and go to work, damn it. Okay, first thing I'd like to talk about is my good friends at LewDogs.com. LewDogs.com is the hottest handicapping website on the web today. Go check them out for free. See what their free rolls are all about. Go there and check out blogs from the hottest handicappers on the web today for free at LewDogs.com. Now, this weekend and yesterday brought some great news in the free agency market as we've seen um, Peyton Manning find a spot. Yes, not the spot I thought in Denver. However, it does make a lot of sense. I really thought he was going to Tennessee when Steve Hutchinson signed there uh, last week. I thought that really was going to be the place for him. Uh, however, Denver is now his place. And as a Raider fan, yes, we're a little concerned. However, we don't know how well Peyton Manning's going to throw. He hasn't thrown a ball in a game in over a year and a half. Um Let's take a look at a few things, though. On the offensive line, very good. He's got Ryan Clady there at the left tackle. Uh, an awesome way to start your, your offensive line. Uh, as well as Zane Beatles, his left guard. Uh, Jeff Saturday might come over to really shore up that offensive line. Um, and you might see, who knows, Jacob Tammy come over. That could happen. Dallas Clark, you don't know yet. Although they do have Darren Fells there, who happens to be a great tight end, good hands, good blocking. Uh, Eddie Royal will be there as one of his weapons. Most importantly, Eric Decker, who we can actually see what kind of receiver he's going to be because he actually has a quarterback throwing to him. Uh, Demarius Thomas, we've seen some great things that he can do when the ball gets in his hands. However, when you have a, a quarterback that throws about 10 to 12 passes a game on the high end, completing five to seven of them, you can't get to see too much. So with that being said, look for Peyton Manning to start his new legacy uh, here. John Elway obviously was the, the key clog in bringing him here, uh, a legendary quarterback talking to a legendary quarterback that's actually still playing. Now, Tim Tebow, where is he going to go? Possibly New England, possibly Jacksonville. New England, he's going to be turned into an outlet player like a Wes Walker, uh, maybe a Danny Woodhead, a guy he convert, put in the ball in his hands, get him in open space. He won't be a quarterback there. Jacksonville, he will put fans in the seats as they wanted him there two year, three years ago. Um Jacksonville would like to have him. He could quarterback there. I mean, it really wouldn't hurt. It's better than any of the options they have. Blaine Gabbert still needs to develop or become a quarterback at some point, or it'll be a small band-aid on a big gash there in Jacksonville that'll put fans in the seats, get the bleachers opened up, uh, get those blue tarps off, and who knows, it can buy them time into getting a quality quarterback. Like I said, I don't see any other options for Tebow at this point. Keep praying, my man, Big Timmy. All right, now, today's news, I thought this was funny. I should share it with you. Bill Clinton had an airport named after him. Yes, Hillary and I are humbled by the Little Rock Airport Commission's decision this morning uh, in a statement, and this is a great, great quote. If you don't like this, you just don't enjoy comedy, and you can't help but love this. We are grateful for this honor and for all the people, uh, all that the people of Little Rock have done for us. And we look forward to many happy landings at the airport in years ahead. If you can't relate to that and have fun with it, where he had happy endings in the White House and now happy end landings in his new airport, you just don't appreciate humor. Now, on to tonight's picks. Let's go for some NBA. I got two for you until Thursday when we kick into the NCAA again. Two great picks for you tonight in the NBA. Yes, I had the Knicks playing the Raptors at home. Look for uh, this game. Look for the Knicks to, to play somewhat of a sloppy game. Uh, they will be in Philly tomorrow playing a much bigger game for them anyway in their eyes. They're going to be playing Toronto, a team that they have beat numerous times. Um, the under in this game is what we're concerned about. The under is 199. Look for this game, like I said, to be a little sloppy. Toronto is not a scoring team. Uh, the, the Knicks can play defense at home. Uh, like I said, they have a big game tomorrow. Look for the defense coming in hand. Look for the under 199 in this game. Next game, we got the Bucks in the Rose Garden out in Portland. The Bucks are surging. They're only uh, they're right there at the cusp of a playoff berth. Um, they're getting three and a half from a Portland team that really is just looking dismantled. Portland has uh, had all kinds of problems. They have lost their coach. They have rode them out of town. Uh, the players there aren't very happy. It's a very uh, inmate running the asylum kind of situation there. Uh, look for the Bucks, which are a much more solid team. Monta Ellis being there, great addition. They're on a five-game winning streak. Um, look for the Bucks to take care of business in a once-tough-to-play Rose Garden. 
Look for Portland to just implode. Look for the Bucks to win it outright. Getting the three and a half shouldn't be a problem. Take it to the book. Take it to the bank. And as always, until tomorrow, you take it ace.